I know their behavior. I know their actions. I know what their issues are. I know that, that there's a humanity in us and a tendency to rebel. But this is what I must do. You know, I know how men are going to act before they start acting. I know what they're going to do before they start doing it. So I need you to train them while they are children. And this is what I need you to do. I need you to repeat what I'm doing in a song. I need you to take my works, my actions, and all my miracles, and I need you to put it to music, and then I need you to teach them as they are children, so they can sing it over and over again. So they can sing it over and over again. And so as they sing it over and over again, it will train them. So when they start doing evil, because they have a holy inclination on the inside, the atmosphere in their mind will manifest in their feet. This is God telling Moses this, that I know how they operate. And so I need to train them to think differently. I need to train their mental sphere. I need to get me inside of them. And so the way I can get me inside of them is for me to put my word in them. And the way for me to put my word in them is that I've got to get some words and I've got to attach them to music because that's how you train the soul. Say soul training. Say spirit training. See, it's not by osmosis that Lucifer lost his position, but he did not lose his ability. He knows what's going to move you. Words shape your emotions. Words shape your reality. You were created by words. Words shape who you are. Even when you were a little child, somebody told you you were never going to unlock anything. Because at the very early age, the enemy will utilize the words to mess up your future. Think about the things you deal with right now. It's words. Think about the relationship that you were in. And the reason you can't have another effective relationship right now is because somebody spoke something to you. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words were never hurt. Say that's a lie. Say words. Say words. So I'm going to understand this. That God understands words. Understand this. That Lucifer, he is mad as hell. He has a problem with the fact that he lost his position and now man has replaced him as worshipers. See, the Bible says God is seeking worshipers and God is seeking. See, God is looking for worshipers. God is always looking for worshipers. God is not looking for praises because you can praise Him with your mouth and your heart be far from Him. Yeah. There is a difference between praise and worship. Yes. So there is a difference between praise and worship. Worship means to obey. Say worship means to obey. So you worship God in a song because you're already living according to His Word. So your words and your worship is an extension of what you are living. Even in Old Testament, he says, they pray me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. How are their hearts far from him? They're not doing what he tells them to do. He said, if you love me, he says, you would do what? Keep my what? He said, if you love me, you would do what? If I need you to get on there real quick, we're about to, we're about to show that. He said, if you love me, you would do what? He didn't say, if you feel me. He said, if you love me. See, a lot of you are walking around trying to feel God all the time. You ain't always going to feel God. You ain't always going to feel saved. Sometimes you're going to wake up and you're not going to feel saved. I woke up this morning not feeling saved. But I knew I was saved. Are you with me? Every once in a while you get out of the religious folks. Oh, she don't speak in tongues. She don't know how to come to church. She ain't saved. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not saying because you didn't see me speaking tongues. I'm not saying because I don't want to roll over like the ground and do backflips like the blues brothers. No, I was saved before I started acting in speech. Because I believed on him as a scripture that says, and out of my belly flow rivers of living waters. Say worship music. Lucifer became Satan. The very word Satan is a court term, where you have a lawyer and you have a prosecutor. The prosecutor is named Satan. Say Satan. Satan. He's a prosecuting attorney. See, we're talking about Lucifer, shining one, the enlightened one. This whole group of organizations that have been birthed into existence, these were free thinkers who thought they had a special knowledge that nobody else has. Are you with me? And as I go into this special knowledge, I want you to understand that you don't need to be tripping. This is special knowledge right here. There is no knowledge on this planet that's greater than the word of Almighty God. I'm a Freemason. Oh, I'm a part of the United States. I don't care. I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm a Christian. I'm a disciple. But I've got special knowledge. Well, I've got revelation knowledge. And guess what? Your knowledge may help you down here, but my knowledge may help me get there. 
you tell me they helped me for today, but what I'm talking about will help me for eternity. Yeah. 